Hi guys, Jill here, and this is today, uh, today, day two of the 31 day challenge, and I showed yesterday the mini book that I had found in my stash, and finished that up, and today I did the covers, because yesterday's project was, was pretty large. So, in the meantime, part of the challenge is I'm trying to use things I haven't used, and I have this awesome stamp set from Martha Stewart. I probably got it, what, two or three Christmases ago, so I did up some letters for just all the days of the challenge so we can keep track of where we are. I went to Joanne's yesterday, did a little more shopping. It wasn't terrible, you know, but there, there was some more shopping. And I picked up the Be Mine paper stack from DCWV for $10 with my gift card that Char had given me for Christmas. So that was really nice to get something Valentine's-y. And here's the finished mini album. And the covers are really simple. They're just board covered like you would cover a traditional book. So you can kind of see, here's the corners. And it's again just traditional book binding where you wrap the paper, cut out the corners. This is some more of that paper that my friend Chrissy from New York sent me. This is a Copic image that I had colored and set aside and the image is Judy Ken's. Here's some little flowers that were in my box and they're done from Posh Impressions. This is a little fan that I made with Karen Thompson at CHA probably 2004. <laughs> it was in that box. A charm from probably around the same time. This is one of the mini Baroque dies out of a piece of blue paper that was in my stash. I spritzed it with some of the Perfect Pearl Mess and very lightly stamped over it with some color box ink with a oriental background stamp that I'd never used. These are some I Am Roses flowers that Sharon, who is SM Scrapper, sent me. I edged them with gold dauber and then I edged the entire book with gold dauber as well as this fan. I didn't do anything to the back but here's a really good idea of how that paper looks. Really gorgeous paper. And she had also gotten me a greenish paper, which I'm going to use in a box that I started painting and working on. And it's a good thing I started painting it early because, oh my gosh, I think I've added like five layers to it to get it to where I liked it. <laughs> so, again, just, you know, most of the days are going to be really quick. So if there's a technique in here that you see that you're interested in, let me know. I did a tutorial on coloring with the Copics and everything else I think is pretty self-explanatory. So there you go, day two, and I will see you tomorrow for day three. Thanks for stopping in and have a great day.